We're going to talk for a little while about film acting, of which I've done a little bit. And the first thing that will happen to the audience is, of course, for the rest of the day, they will be completely ignored because you don't exist. My fellow actors and I can regard you as the crew, right? And once you're in front of that camera, nobody exists. Nobody except the other person in the scene. And what we do, we actors who are in the movie, we hang on to each other's eyes. That's the most important thing in film. Eyes. Eyes. If you're fair and you've got blonde eyelashes like I have, you wear mascara. Because if you have blonde eyelashes and you're in a movie, you might as well be in a radio play. <laughs> <coughs> in the cinema, it's a very, very infinitesimal space you have in which to work. So this is our movie camera here. And we use that as the movie camera all through this show. So what, what, what I'd like someone to do is to put down a mark for me. Is there an assistant who can put down a mark for me to hit for a close-up? We just need a piece of tape or a bit of chalk or something. That's, I thought it was going to panic everybody that I asked, <laughs> asked for something. Just, where am I? In, let me just see where I am. Put, pull it up, pull it up, the camera up a bit. Is that as high as you, that's it. Just hit there. Put it on my feet there. Now I've got to come in and get to there. If I, if I go to there in a movie camera, I've gone through the focus. Because the focus ends here. And the focus ends here. And so if I'm back here, I'm fuzzy. So the way to do that is to get on the mark. And if you're, if you're going to say a line, you go backwards. So when you go forwards, if you're going to say a line, and then you're on the mark. That's the first simple, simple lesson. With a close-up, which I've started with close-ups because they are eventually what sells you in a movie because people see your eyes. And what you, I'll take my glasses off. What you get in the cinema, watch, my friends here, watch the monitor. What I often see in television or cinema is people who are looking at someone else and they change eyes. Can I have some? Come stand here, Simon. Do you stand off camera? Mm -hmm. And then I will look at you. Stand. Always remember, if you're doing, if you're doing a close-up with somebody you, and you are the off actor, the one who's off the, the set, get as close to the lens as possible to bring the other actor around to the most advantageous for him, which is right round to the lens. So you stick your, don't pan right, cameraman, because you'll hit <laughs> Now, you see actors, and they're acting, and they change, and it's an infin infinitesimal thing in the eyes, as they change eyes as they're talking. Can you see my eyes mm -hmm. changing there? Yes. Just I'm changing eyes, yeah. and I'm blinking. Now that is two of the worst things to do. First of all, you never change eyes, and you, what you do is you pick an eye. Now, which eye do you pick? I look at, with this eye, because the camera is there, I look at this eye, at your eye there, mm -hmm. which brings my face, you can see. If I look with this eye, at that eye, look what you get. Yeah. You see the difference? Yeah. But it's the same look. And if I keep blinking, it weakens me. But if I'm talking to you, and I don't blink, and I just keep going, and I don't blink, and I keep on going, and I don't blink. You start to listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> and sure. it makes me a very strong yeah. person, as opposed to someone who is sitting there going, yeah. which is someone who's completely flustered. The camera is like um, somebody who loves you deeply. It's the most incredible of mistresses or lovers, whichever sex you are. Because it will love you forever, in spite of the fact that for the rest of your career, except on given occasions, which we will come to, you ignore it. It does not exist. 
you never look into it, you never know it's there. You just hold the eyes of the other person and listen. And listening is really what acting is all about for movies. It's not like the theatre. It's an entirely different uh, situation. When I was in the theatre, I was inadvertently given some advice by uh, the theatre producer. When very young, I was in repertory in Lowestoft. And he said to me, what are you doing, Michael? And I said, nothing, sir. He said, what? What do you mean, nothing? I said, well, I haven't got anything to say. <laughs> so he said, what do you mean you haven't got anything to say? He said, of course you've got things to say. You've got wonderful things to say. But you sit there and listen, think of these extraordinary things to say, and then decide not to say them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're doing. And that is the greatest piece of advice I can give to someone who wants to act in movies, is to listen and react. But also, when you get really close to the camera, if some directors go in for a massive close-up, the thing that people never do in real life is they don't say, oh, I, I don't want to go out, I'll, you know. I'll, uh, no, I'll, I'll have the egg and chips, you know. But you will see actors doing that all the time. And so when you get in here, that doesn't look so obvious until you get in here, you know. So, but the, you've got to... Just be. There is no one here. It's just you and me. You'll be standing there. And there isn't even a camera. And you just say, well, no, I don't think I'll have the egg and chips. I'll have, um, I'll have the uh, caviar and uh, blinis. Shall I? And they say, well, no, what do you really want? And you say, well, he's not doing anything. And it's a story of Jack Lemmon, who was working with George Cukor. It was his first movie, and he'd come from Broadway, theatre. And he kept doing it, scene. George would say, cut, less, Jack, less. Jack would do it again. George, cut, less, less. Again, cut, less. And Jack finally said, look, if I do any less, I'll be doing nothing. And George said, now you've got it. <laughs> <laughs> but there is, there is a... a a sort of feeling that you have to get. Just stand up. It's a feeling that you have to get. It's just, it's just the two of us talking to each other. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Yeah. And the moment that I'm, the moment I'm, I'm saying it's just the two of us talking to each other, I know I'm doing it for all these people out here. Yeah. And I've even said to a director, he said, I didn't see that, Michael. I didn't see that on that take. And I said, where were you sitting? He said, there. I said, how are you going to see it? The lens is here. You know? And so what you're doing, and the test for this is like, supposing you were rehearsing a scene. Mm. So I'm standing here talking to you, and we're rehearsing a scene, and the yeah. director comes up, or assistant director or someone, will come up and say, oh, I'm sorry, I, I see you're rehearsing, and he goes away. If he can see that we are rehearsing, then we're not doing it right. What should happen is, is we should be talking just to each other. Yeah. And the director, the assistant or the friend or other actor should come up and, and join in the conversation as though it's a real conversation. And we say, you say, we're rehearsing. And they, and they say, oh, I didn't realise. Yeah. Okay? Has anybody got any questions? How do you achieve um, <clears throat> your sense of relaxation? By just feeling concentrated? And it's concentrated yeah. and you don't you know that you have no enemies. Everybody's on your side. 